Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy and this is the Sister Cousin Lifestyle channel. If you're not a subscriber over here, please be sure to subscribe today and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each and every time I upload a video. And if you're a, a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really, really appreciate your continued support and having you here as a part of the Sister Cousin Lifestyle family. So today's video is supposed to be a update um, on a challenge that I hosted along with Marilyn from Fabulous Designs on a Budget. And we started this about um, maybe three, four months ago. It's supposed to be a jumpstart your healthy lifestyle journey. And um, so much has changed, you know, since we started that. So it started off, you know, about for me, about, you know, just a healthy lifestyle, which meant healthy eating, um, you know, exercise, as well as taking care of my, you know, inner body, you know, going to the doctor and dental appointments and eye appointments and all of those types of things. So that was the focus at the beginning for me, everybody on this uh, challenge that came along on this journey with us kind of had different focuses, um, but that was my focus. And so each month we've been coming back and we've been giving updates on where we are to our goals. But, you know, like everybody, focus has been lost this year so many things are happening and it's like every month when i come back and i reflect on what the previous month has been like it's like it's you just can't keep up you just can't keep up and you know i i have um it's just just heavy you know this month is is even heavier than last month for so many things and you know what's going on in the news and things that are happening around and not new things, which is what makes it even more, you know, sad and frustrating, but not to, to, to get off into that. Um, it's just hard to, to keep focus and, you know, I'm, I'm not okay. Most of the time, you know, I feel, um, you know, sad and, and just, just so many things, you know, with, uh, pandemic and just everything. It's just been one thing after another. And I, like most people, you know, have had family, um, you know, issues. We've experienced death in our family through this crisis, not COVID related. However, it, it was impacted because, you know, we couldn't be there with our family member, which happened to be my dad's sister, um, who passed away. And we had to view her body through, the house party app so you know someone called from the funeral home so that we could kind of be a part of it but you know these things are just not normal so in addition to mourning the loss of your loved ones you're having to be told only 10 people can attend and just a lot a lot and then compounded by the recent events of this last week so it's it, it it's getting to me. So I'm just kind of making this video because one thing that I have been trying to do now, I'm not, you know, where I want to be, but I'm, I'm working on it. And that is my mental health and trying to stay grounded and give myself permission to feel sad, to feel frustrated, to you know, whatever emotion I might be having for that day, that hour, that moment to allow that, but not to stay there. Um, because at the end of the day, I have faith and, and that's where my trust is, you know, but I'm human. And so, you know, my mind goes to different places. So I allow myself to go there, but I can't stay there. So I have to do things, um, you know, for myself that make me happy or try to find things that make me happy. What I'm finding is that things that used to make me happy no longer make me happy. Um, point, case in point, I went out, I shared a haul the other day where I had finally gone back out to the stores. And I mean, hey, that, that was my happy place. Ross and, you know, uh, Home Goods, those types of stores. But now you walk in and it's just, see how I can't even get focused and get off of that and get back to where I'm going with this video. But 
my point is those things don't necessarily bring me joy anymore or, you know, anyway. So, um, each day, you know, I try to find something to do, um, to try to keep myself, um, grounded and, you know, to bring myself back to, you know, a happy place or whatever that is. So there's some things that I've been doing. Um, like one thing is I've been spending a lot of time outside on um, my deck on, you know, days where the, the weather is nice and I can sit out there and I can reflect. No TV out there, no news out there. And um, just kind of sit out there and just enjoy um, the peace and serenity. Um, I will... I love to travel. I've talked about that so many times. And that's another thing I'm mourning is that this is the first year I'm not going to get a vacation. So I make up vacations in my, you know, I just create my own little mini vacations um, every couple days or so, whatever that might be. So, you know, I um, enjoyed travel to um south america a lot because for my job that's where my my client base was so i went there a lot and i i have a fondness for the foods there for the cocktails there things like that so i'll recreate something and go out on my deck and just kind of in my mind that's like a mini vacation for me so i'm doing things like that and that that helps for the moments you know i just kind of you know enjoy that moment i'm using items that maybe i wouldn't normally um use like i have you know a special glasses or things like that i'll use those things you know just anything to make it a special moment you know um i don't know if this makes any sense at all but that's what i do and i i usually text with my um my sister and my cousin and, and we kind of joke back and forth about where where are you going on vacation today and <laughs> Um, you know, my cousin yesterday, she said she was in the Caribbean. And so, you know, we just do things like that. Another thing is definitely staying connected with my family. If it wasn't for being able to do that, I am so very blessed to have my parents very close to me so I can go over there and visit with them. My sister's close by, you know, so we stay connected. And then my son and his family, we stay connected through, um, you know, Facebook. FaceTime or um, Google Duo or, you know, house party. We use that to kind of stay connected so that I can see them. Um, so that's very, very, very important as well. And then um, one other thing that I've done is um, I bought some plants for my home. I'm going to introduce you to my plants. I'm so proud of them. Um, I bought some plants for my home and that that's what bringing me joy. Um, I hadn't tried to grow plants in the house in many, many years because I don't have a green thumb. But anyway, um, I'm having a little bit of success with them so far. And so that brings me joy. So just the little things that I can do um, just to kind of get through this. But my main message is that, in my opinion, it's okay to not be okay. It's not okay to stay there. So whatever it is that brings joy, those are some of the things that I have been trying to to focus on to to stay, um, you know, just to, to keep going through this because it seems like every month there's something compounded being added on to everything that we're going through. And, and that's, it's a lot, you know. So, you know, I really want to hear from you. Um, what are you doing to stay, you know, sang through all of this. I would love to hear your comments. Um, today, I'm actually dressed because I'm going to take a ride uh, through the city, you know, just to get in the car and just kind of get away from my general surroundings. Um, I've also enjoyed going to the park. So there are times when I found that you can get to the parks and, you know, still social distance or whatever, of course, still have your mask just in case. But you know, just to kind of get out of the house and see something different. Even if you just stay 10 minutes or so, I found that that has helped me a lot as well. But I'm looking for other things, you know. Um, I've lost a lot of my motivation to clean my house and stuff like that. So I really could be doing that too, but that, that just doesn't bring me joy for the moment. So yeah, that's where I am. So my healthy journey update for this month is just about my mental health and just trying to stay um, you know, healthy mentally. 
I'm still doing my walks outside. I definitely try to get those in at least five days a week. I'm enjoying that. Um, I'm not able to go back to the gym, even though my gym has opened. Um, they're going by appointments now, and um, I'm actually going to be calling them to cancel my membership because I don't see myself going back into a gym. Um, it's just not going to work. <laughs> so, yeah. So I got to get a, another exercise regimen going that I can be consistent with. Um, excuse me. But yeah, that's where I am. So thank you so much for watching. I know it's been kind of a rambling video, but you know, I just want to kind of share some of the things I'm doing and hopefully get some feedback from you of what you're doing because, you know, if you're like me, you're probably having some days like, like this. And today is just not a, it's just not a good one for me. So, you know, I'll be okay. And so will you, because at the end of the day, we know who holds the future. And so it will all be okay. So I'm going to share my little plants with you. And then I'm going to end this video before I really start to ramble. So let's go and see the video, the plants. All right. So here are the plants that I purchased. Now I picked these up. And this is what started this whole thing is that they had these plants. Let me see if I can get this thing out of here. It's so tight. That one was $5. And it's a nice size little plant had a little problem here but overall it's doing pretty good i was in lowe's and they had these plants on the clearance rack this one was also five dollars so i picked that one up and then this one was my best find and this one was five dollars as well which i thought was gorgeous now this one was a little bit this was probably regular price but i picked this one up as well and I'm just really experimenting. I said for the $5 plants that I got, it was worth it to try to start with something, you know, kind of small. Um, let's see what these are. I don't even know. Algina or something like that. I am not a plant person. This one I just thought was so pretty. This one is a, what is that? Bromelia, exotic plant. I love, I love that. I just think this, this red part is just so pretty. And then this one is also an, oh, I think the tag is off of this. So I don't know if you know what that is. Drop down in the comments and let me know because I don't know the tag is gone. But I love it. That's my actually my favorite one. I love these split leaves on here. So yeah, that's what I have. These are my babies. I can take these little tags off now, but yeah, that's kind of, you know, I'm enjoying seeing them because I had this space in front of the window and nothing was there. So now I've got those. So that's a little bit of fun for me to see if I can nurture them and they can grow and add oxygen to my home and all of those good things that plants are supposed to do. So that's all I have. I don't have any more. I thank you for listening and stopping by. I hope that you will subscribe and come back by and check me out next time to see what I'll be sharing. Um, I upload videos typically a couple times a week and I would love to have you. Have a great day and see you next time.